Good day friends, welcome back to Smart Booker. In today's video, we are going to be solving another problem on electric field. The only difference between this one and the previous one we have been solving is that this one has two charges, right? So we want to fill the electric field due to each charge. So what we need to do here is that since here is the sketch, the question asks us, it says that find the electric field at the point P. So here is the point P, right? This point. So we need to find the electric field due to the charge Q1 and that of what? Q2. So our main goal here is to find what? The total electric field, which is the combination of the electric field due to the first one, the first charge Q1, and the electric field due to the second one. But before then, we have to know the value of E1 and what? E2. To calculate that, we say E1 is our unknown, right? Likewise, E2 is also our unknown. Also, E again is also our unknown. So we need to find this thing in what? In a chronological order. So the thing we need to do here is that we know we are given Q1 to be equal to what? Positive 2 microcoulomb. Q2 equals negative 4 microcoulomb. Now, if you look for like, the distance between Q1 and the point P, it is 0.4 meter. And that of Q2 at point P is 0.2 meter. So therefore, R1 equals 0.4 meter. Why R2 equals 0.2 meter? All we just need to do now is to substitute. We say E1, right? We say E1 equals KQ1 over R2. And we know k is a constant, so that is 9 times 10 to the power of 9, right? Then q1 has a value of... Now, remember, we don't have positive or negative. We just pick the magnitude, which is the absolute value, right? So we say 2 times 10 to the power of 6, negative 6, divided by 0 0.4 squared. So this equals 9 times 2 times 10 to the power of 9 minus 6 divided by 0 0.16 which equates to 18 times 10 to the power of 3 divided by 0 0.16 also equals to 18,000 divided by 0 0.16 which equals one one two five zero zero newton per column so that is the value for e1 so we need to do the same thing for e2 and for e2 that equals kq2 over r2 squared right so this one has to be r1 squared so we said 9 times 10 to the power of 9 times q2 is having a value of negative 4 microcoulomb but we are going to neglect the negative sign and take only the positive sign so you can see that q2 is what negative 4 microcoulomb but since we are finding electric field we, we just we are interested in the magnitude which is a positive value of the charge that will be 4 times 10 to the power of negative 6 divided by r squared r2 is what 0 0.2 so we have to square it also. That equates to 9 times 4 times 10 to the power of 9 minus 6 and divided by 0 0.04, which equates to 36 times 10 to the power of 3 divided by 0 0.04. So therefore, A2 equals a value of 9 100 times 10 to the power of 3 which is same as 900,000 newton per column so we found e1 and e2 so to calculate for e that is e1 plus what e2 that means the total electric field which is affecting the point p right so that will be equal to the summation of both of the one one for the first one 2500 plus 900 thousand that equates to one zero one two five zero zero 
So we can approximate this value as you know you one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can say one point zero times ten to the power of six newton per column. So we've calculated for the value of E. So I hope the concept is clear. If there's any question, feel free to ask in the comment section and goodbye.